hi guys welcome back to my channel and uh, if you're new to this channel please don't forget to subscribe comment like and share and yeah today we're going to do a simple makeup look not simple but a simple cut crease and yeah let's begin let's see how this is gonna turn out so as usual we're going to start with our primer I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty like uh, I don't know she's just gonna get tired of me like I keep using this <laughs> But I bought this like, I've had this for over a year and it's still, it's still full in a way. No, is it? I don't know, but yeah, it's still there. <laughs> so. Uh, next up, I'm going to use my NYX foundation, Born to Glow. It's in the shade, in the shade Coco just in case anybody wants to try this is my first time using this because I'm always using I've always used the other one what, what was the name born this way something like that but I've always used the other foundation that NYX has but I've never used this before so when I saw this I was like mm, let me buy this instead of the other one let me just try it so yeah so we're going to use this to Ooh, it's so <gasps> Oh my god, I feel glowy already. Like, this is too. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't like putting my foundation all over the place because I feel it's just going to be all over the place. Oh my god. I just carried this foundation. I didn't even check for my shade because the other one I was using. Um, What shade was I using on the other one? I forgot. But. Oh shit, was, I think I was using cappuccino. No, cappuccino is the concealer. I think I was using cocoa as well. I'm not sure. I forgot. But the other one, my shade wasn't there for sure when I was going to buy it. It wasn't there. So I was like, uh, let me find something similar. So this one looked like it was it. Oh my god, I actually love it. I bought this foundation if it's my shade or not. Somehow it looks a bit orange, but somehow it looks like my shade. You know what I mean? Like when you look at it with my neck, like, you know, it feels like it's my shade, but it looks a bit off. Something is missing. I don't know, maybe because I'm used to something lighter than me, but I don't know. But I guess I'll have to try and work with it. I think so. I just have to work with it. I'll try and work with it and see how how it goes. But if I feel like this is just not me, I think I'm going to have to go and buy another one. And probably mix it with this. I think I'll have to get a lighter shade and mix it with this to make it a little bit. I don't know. Some I feel like it's okay, but some I feel like something is missing in this. But I don't know. We'll see how this goes. So yeah. <laughs> so next up, I'm going to use my NYX Can Stop On Stop Concealer in the shade Cappuccino. Oh my God! For a minute, I thought I took chestnut. <laughs> it's in the shade Cappuccino, guys. Um, I always use this concealer a lot, but. I just ran out of it like oh my god the smoothness oh it's so smooth I ran out of it so I was like okay compromise compromise but it's a really good concealer I love it I tend to use a lot of product I don't know why is it just me or what like, I can use a whole lot of product on just one thing. Let's do the chin. <laughs> so, I'm going to use another clean sponge. Oh my god, I feel like I'm using all my clean sponges. <laughs> no, I'm going to use the same sponge. I'm going to use the same sponge, but the other side, that's clean. You get what I mean? 
we are going to start from here because uh, whenever I, I wipe off my concealer here I feel itchy like on my nose it's so weird mm -hmm. and we're gonna wipe off the concealer I feel like this is actually my shade it's really nice I love it I think I'm gonna go buy more so I think I'm go I need to we're just gonna dab on the sections that I just put my concealer mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So for the first time in forever, well not the first time, but I went to town when there was protests, when there was a protest for the Black Lives Matter thing. But this has been since, since I went for the protest for Black Lives Matter, that was the last time I was in town, but that day was packed because I mean a lot of people are going for the protest. But today, nobody was going anywhere, but God, it was so full in town. The amount of queues in the shops I was like oh that is not me no mm -mm. it was just too much oh I love contouring my nose like this is the best part for me I love it love it love it love it love it okay now let's do it under our eye cause the best section is Lost. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh. <laughs> so next we are going to I'm going to use my Benin powder. Um I don't know what shade it is, but yeah, I'm gonna use my Benin powder, translucent powder, so I like <laughs> I like putting this powder on my hand because it doesn't have exactly the luxury for you to put it in. We're going to put the translucent powder on other places that I put my concealer. And yeah. <laughs> so I'm already sucking in my powder. Like I'm not leaving it too much. To be hanging out there I'm already sucking it in as you can see wipe off my translucent powder I'm going to use my black opal powder in dark for number four so yeah so I'm just going to wipe off the bacon see this is what I'm saying like no I'm just going to wipe off my bacon first and that I usually use cause those brushes just ain't it for me like they're just the brushes are just not for me they don't work how I want them to <gasps> I spoil my eyebrow my eyebrow is messed up messed up okay up next I'm going to use this shade from my it's my Ray Ray palette this one that means so I'm going to use it for contouring my nose see it's dark
we are done with like part of the face let me not say half of the face because it's just part so now I'm going to go on to do my eyeshadow so I'll be using the Huda Beauty palette today the Huda Beauty rose gold palette today so yeah and we'll be going a bit neutral but I'm gonna add some gold in it so yeah let's see how it goes so I'm going to use my Juvia's Place concealer to just conceal this part of my eyebrows um, yeah. okay so guys I'm back I've only done one eye uh, I've always used this glitter a lot like this is my favorite the 2k oh god I've overused it that even myself I feel sorry like when I look at the palette I'm like what happened to you what happened I think I'm gonna have to purchase a new one just so I can get back this 2k gold glitter oh my god I love it or maybe I can just go and look maybe they have singles I hope they have singles of this because that's my fave so as I said before I put the Juvia's Place concealer so I'm just using a brush to dab on it so I'm gonna take Saddlewood I'm going to use this shades this that that and my favorite so we're gonna start with the lighter brown first and we're gonna just go at the top of the eye the tip of the eyebrow so yeah it doesn't have to be too harsh like if it's harsh that's fine but just try to make it as soft as possible it's quite the same color with my skin so you can't really see the shade it's really similar to my skin like so unbelievable I don't know if I can say my skin or the concealer whichever it is but anyway so next I'm going to use Hina that's the next shade I said I was gonna use and just put it at the bottom of that so basically we're gonna cover the whole eyelid and then do the cut crease after so don't f I have to always go in the inner corner because you never know how your cut crease is gonna be so you have to always compromise and next I'm going to use another brush and I'm gonna get the dark brown cocoa and just dab on the bottom at my crease using I'm going to use my Nivea cleansing water and I'm going to use a little ear pad and just wet it a bit yeah I think that's enough and sometimes when it's too wet and you place it on your eye like the water just dribbles and messes up your makeup that's if you've done already your foundation and stuff like me so I like putting my things a little bit clean not to mess up my makeup so obviously I'm gonna clean this whole part so just going to go straight ahead it's clear so I've just I've already put my eyelashes to start drying up like I like my eyelashes completely dried up because then it's easier for me to just stick them on but when they are wet oh my god it's a whole mess it's a mess don't even try that like if you have problems to put on eyelashes let them dry like for a little bit longer like two minutes even it's fine not just 10 20 seconds oh my god you're gonna die with that <laughs> but anyway guys so I'm going to use this little brush from echo tools much product as possible from this like the only thing on this palette that's done is that and I love it like when you have that specific palette that you only use one shade like you literally just use one shade on that whole palette like you love that specific shade and when once it's gone oh my god you feel like the whole world is crumbling with you 
that's how I feel right now. Like that shade, like that's the best shade I love. This part is the problem. So we are back and I've already done, filled up my eyebrows and everything. So yeah. So next I'm going to use my Max Factor X. Next I'm going to use my Max Factor X um, mascara and just put some mascara. Who be taxing? Next I'm gonna put my eyelashes. Now yeah, they be dry. Not completely, but yeah, it's better. So I'm just gonna place my eyelashes on top of my uh, the breathing the breathing guys unbelievable I want to make sure like it's sticking on every single part I want it to stick. I got a boom. <laughs> it's really easy when the glue is really dry, honestly. Like that's the best. I think I'm gonna have to do a tutorial on just me putting on my lashes. Gotta get back to that. <laughs> but anyway, so let me put the other one the other side. I'm gonna put it on my TikTok. Okay, so guys, I'm back with both lashes on as you can see. So, next, I'm going to use a little brush and just put some eyeshadow at the bottom of my lid and some mascara. And I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking I'm going with Man Eater. Next, I'm going to use my Maybelline Lasting Fix Setting Spray and just spray and then highlight. I'm going to use my Inglot highlighter as usual, my glow dust, and just highlight that. Oh, my favorite. I love this highlighter. But yeah. We are just going to highlight there. On the nose I have to I'm trying to use the tip of the brush as much as possible. I'm going to use my MAC lip liner and just it's in the shade chestnut by the way. And just line my lips and I'm just gonna take some lip gloss and just put some on top ah uh, okay guys so this is my final look um just let me know down in the comments if you like it and if not it's quite a simple look. That, it's not simple, but it's quite a simple look that you can wear anywhere, really. It doesn't really matter where you're going. You can really wear this look anywhere. But you guys just let me know down below on what you think about it. And yeah, that's it. I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye. And when you're in her